Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file, and he's doing some things right, you know, segregating some lines, but then he's he's filling in some other things that I think are the opposite. I think he'd want the whole thing filled in the lines. So I'm not 100% sure, but it'll work both ways. I'm gonna take the rectangle tool and I'm gonna draw a rectangle. He's got his set on fill, so I'm gonna take away the fill. And if we use the smart fill tool, you see this right here leaks, but that's a pretty little spot. So let's try something first. Let's um, select the hand, I think it's a hand, and let's go to object and combine. And look what happens, there's some there's some lines that I don't know if he created when he was doing something, but that's uh, going to cause some problems. So we're going to take that away. And if we go back to Smart Fill Tool and fill this in, our leak is in, in this area right here. So we'll zoom in there. And almost from a distance, I can see, you know, some nodes. And there's a node right there. And if you zoom in good enough, there's our leak. And if we'll just kind of prove that with the rectangle, well, let's don't use the rectangle tool because he's got it set on, well, he's got everything set on fill. And let's just take the smart fill tool and fill that in. That didn't work, maybe it's too small. Take the smart fill tool and fill that in and you can see it's leaking at that corner. So the easiest way to do that Sorry, let's zoom in here. And you can take the shape tool and select that and then hold down the shift key and select that one. And you can see both nodes and you can join that right there. Then select them both, go up to windows, dockers, join curves. And I've, he's in working in millimeters, but it's a small amount and hit okay and you're done. That easy. Now let's back up here. We still got a rectangle tool. Let's see if it doesn't leak now. So take the smart fill tool and fill that in. And now you can see that there's no leaks. So if he's doing this, that's fine. I don't understand this part, but we'll go ahead and do it too. And what I would do if I was filling in these smaller parts, I would actually set my nudge distance. Let's see how big it is. It's 210 millimeters. Let's set this on. 250 millimeters and let's take the smart fill tool and let's click that and I'm going to nudge it down. So I'm filling in the opposite parts that you would think need to be filled in. And I'm almost there, I think. I've already got that one. So if you ever do two of them, just and then um, this circle, let's zoom in a little bit. So I don't know if that's what he's after or just the, uh, the fill itself, but it was just that one leak causing him the problem. So there are some hidden lines in there, but let's do this. We've got this filled in. Let's move this. And now let's left click, no, no fill and right click red outline. And let's take this one now and take uh, select it all and go up to object and combine. Then you see we can't even combine it because it's already combined. It's already, it's just one object curve on one layer. So it's gotten rid of those broken lines. Let's take away our rectangle. Let's do this one again and hit object and com combine and you see those lines show up. So the smart fill tool will get rid of those lines. Basically they are there, but maybe they're only there when you combine it. Cause I don't think so, you know, that they're there now. Let's take a, let's take an ellipse and let's fill it. So we've got everything set on fill, take our smart fill tool and fill that in. And so those lines are actually gone now. Um, anyway, I hope that helps him a little bit.
Thank you for watching.